Hey everyone, David Wagner here, co-founder of P3 Media. Today I'm here to talk about site speed, why your top priority should be improving it, and how to achieve the best results. The reason you need to pay attention is simple. There is a strong relationship between site speed, conversion rate, and average order value. Studies have found that speeding up a page by just one second increases conversion rates by up to 7%. And it doesn't stop just there. Your site speed impacts your organic search rankings across all devices. In fact, in May of 2021, Google will update search rankings prioritizing core web vitals like site speed. This means that the slower your site is, the more your Google rank and recommendation will decrease. Invest in these five areas to improve your site speed and watch your conversion rate and sales skyrocket. Tip number one, organize your tracking with Google Tag Manager. Data enables you to serve personalized experiences to your customers on your website and via ads. But collecting this data is a weight on your site performance. All of the tracking pixels that enable you to perform tasks like advertising, automating product recommendations, and analytics slows down your site speed. A tag management system like Google Tag Manager condenses all of your individual tags into one JavaScript request. Using a tag management system also protects against worst case scenarios. So for example, if a tag failure causes your site to go down, you can remove the tag quickly because all of your tags will be condensed in one place. Tip number two, minify your code. Minification refers to the process of removing unnecessary or redundant data without affecting how the resource is processed by the browser. This means you can reduce the amount of data that you send to your customer without negatively impacting site functionality simply by removing poorly coded HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on your site. And you don't have to be a developer to accomplish this either. There are a ton of online resources that will help you minify your code. Tip number three. Audit and remove unnecessary third-party apps. In our experience, the average enterprise-level business on Shopify Plus uses eight to 12 third-party apps. Some of these are mission critical, while others are just nice to have. So conduct a forensic audit of your integrations to make sure that the economic value you're getting from these apps outweighs the site speed degradation. And once you've uninstalled an app, don't forget to do a pass on your site and remove any traces of leftover code manually to ensure that you're reaping all of the benefits of removing the app. Tip number four, implement lazy load. Contrary to the name, lazy load will make your site load snappier. On unoptimized websites, users are forced to download every image on your site, which as you can imagine, takes more time. Lazy load prioritizes loading content above the fold, so as users scroll down the page, images for that specific section load. This is increasingly important as e-com sites are getting more image and content heavy every day. Tip number five, optimize your site assets. We all love high resolution images and we all want to present the best versions of our products, but with all things e-commerce, there's a trade-off. In this case, using high quality images will slow down your pages. So we suggest compressing your images to improve load times. Think about implementing the source set attribute on image HTML tags. This enables your browser to select for multiple versions of the same image and serve customers the best one depending on the characteristics of the device they're browsing on. And as a general rule of thumb, your photos should be in JPEG format and your graphics should be PNGs. Swap GIF animations with videos and use the proper HTML5 semantic structure for embedded videos. Lastly, ensure that your fonts are loading quickly by swapping out external fonts with WebSafe fonts. Keep in mind, it's all relative. When we talk about page speed, we're generally not talking in absolute terms. In the context of e-commerce, we're thinking about the relative performance of one site compared to another which can really only be measured by the perceptual difference between those two sites being compared. So if you haven't done so already, check out Google PageSpeed Insights, which will measure your website's relative performance against the rest of the web. This will tell you how your site is stacked up against the competition. That's it. Apply this advice and let's get growing. If you have a killer tip or strategy you think we missed, or if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. 